oh, it must be 25 years ago, I worked for a university and I wanted to get a mount for my camera that would fit on a car. I wanted the flexibility, I wanted to put movement into my shooting. I felt that a camera mounted on a tripod wasn't really the best answer for all types of shooting situations. And I became an advocate of moving my camera around in any way that I possibly could. I felt that this, this mount that I was going to design had a, a lot of secondary functions that could be satisfied. I was always looking for different angles and one of my favorite pieces of equipment was a hi-hat. The hi-hat would be placed on the floor, the camera would be mounted on top of the hi-hat and you'd get low angle shots and I really liked them. So I wanted this device that I was going to create to work not only to get moving shots but also to get me different types of shots that I couldn't achieve with the equipment that we had. I just started experimenting and what came out of this was a bean bag with a lot of pockets in it so that we could store accessories, carry them around with us. I decided that it had to be extremely lightweight because I would sometimes have to photograph scenes which included going out to the oceanfront and putting them on rocks or going up and shooting from a cliff or doing a whole bunch of things like that. So I had a whole list of things that were churning around inside of my mind and I decided that we could do something uh, a little bit better. And that's how the Cine Saddle, the first idea germinated, that's all. It would attach to anything that you could possibly think of mounting it on. If you wanted it on a motorcycle or a bicycle or a boat or a raft, I mean, just picture taking a tripod with its spike legs and putting that on a rubber raft in the middle of, of a lake and you would find yourself at the bottom of the lake, your camera would get a little bit waterlogged and it wouldn't be good for anybody. So this device that we created had to be able to be mounted to any type of moving object that we could think of, including a child's toy. Anything that we could think of mounting it to, it had to be able to mount to. Every film is made up of a series of shots. If you're one of the many filmmakers and camera operators who spend every working day producing shots, this video is aimed at you. There is now a product available that will change the way you work. It will not only make your life easier, but improve the shots you take. This unique device enables you to make static shots, moving shots, shots from any angle and previously impossible shots. It is the lightest and least expensive mount for your camera and it doubles as a dolly, crane, pillow or seat. It is a lot more versatile than the tripod and it costs a fraction of the price. It weighs virtually nothing and is completely weatherproof. It is so portable you will always take it with you wherever you go. Every shot you have been watching has been filmed from this amazing product, described by a well-known cinematographer as the invention of the decade. This product is called the Cine Saddle. became very popular and it was more of a cult thing than, than a real piece of equipment because people were saying, how can I go out and shoot a professional job and have a little bean bag holding up my camera, my camera that could cost anywhere from $10,000 to $100,000. But in fact, people did do it. And yes, it, we did make a number of them for the IMAX cameras and it, we really made some very big ones. It's been well accepted in the industry. A lot of Panavision cameras have been used with it. Virtually every type of camera. Eventually we expanded the line and we started doing smaller saddles to accommodate some of the pocket-sized cameras, the palm cameras, the mini DV cameras, the now with the current range of high definition cameras in tiny little sizes, it's, it's the perfect sort of a, amount to have that's universal. It's been used an awful lot 
I mean, we're dealing now, this is 2008, and uh, there was just a big Bruce Willis film, and I know that it, the Sydney Saddle was used there, and it was very well uh, spoken of by the director of photography, and by, he, although the director of photography didn't physically demand that a Sydney Saddle be on, sh on set, the people who, his first assistant cameraman, his uh, loaders, his camera people, they all use the Cine Saddle and they use it reasonably extensively. And there's an article that just came out a couple of months ago in American Cinematographer magazine, which I consider to be the Bible of the industry. And uh, they said that it was a, a, a very important part of their production. The film and video industry is regarded as the most exciting occupation to be involved in. However, for those of us who work in this field, we all know the struggles and pain we go through to get those dream sequences. Now, you can get amazing coverage with the minimum of effort. To set up your cine saddle, just put it down. When you have a cine saddle, you can work very, very quickly. When you can move quickly, you get beautiful shots, you get unusual angles, you get lower costs because all you have to do is take the thing and set it up anywhere and it gives you a perfectly stable picture. It's not like hand holding a camera, but it gives you the same flexibility that hand holding a camera would give you and it gives you a very stable picture. When the camera moves, it puts excitement into the film. When you use a zoom lens, it, I, I would say it, it's better to have a zoom lens than to have nothing, but in general the footage is very, very unexciting. It's not very pretty, at least not to my standards. So I wanted something that would just continue this particular uh, facility for any cameraman. My biggest customers are the individual cameramen, the young people, the, this next vogue. You know, I'm, I'm 70 years old now. When I started taking camera, becoming a cameraman, I was in my early 30s. The only thing I ever really cared about outside of my wife and myself and my family was cameras and film and being a cameraman and being a good cameraman. And I, I realized that there were a lot of people who in this category didn't even realize how important it could be to their footage to have movement there. A lot of the young people didn't have any experience. They never apprenticed to anybody. They just had that same love and curiosity that I had about taking better pictures. I know that the people who have bought the product absolutely love it. I mean, just think, you, you buy yourself a Cine Saddle, it costs you a couple of hundred dollars, and you put it inside of a helicopter, and you've got a helicopter mount, and it's a very effective one. And if you look at our website, you'll find examples of the helicopter shots that you get. Now, it's not that you're going to have the world's greatest equipment when you're spending just a few hundred dollars for it. To put movement into a shot is possibly, for me, the most important thing outside of composition and lighting. It's just that one extra element that you can't possibly avoid using if you want to do good, good filmmaking. And of course, your filmmaking will look better as a result. Ours seems to be the only mount that will give you vibrationless film. If you, doesn't matter what you're shooting, if you're shooting in a helicopter, if you're shooting in a car, if you're shooting in a, you know, I, I, I don't even know. I, I can't begin to think of all of the possible uses that you'd have for it. And I know that people have used it on fixed wing aircraft, they've used it on helicopters, they've used it on motorcycles, they've used it, you name it, they've used it. So I've made the Cine Saddle, and I can honestly say that in the 25 years since I've designed it, there's been only one change to the Cine Saddle, and that's the way I use the, uh, the strap that goes around the top of it. It now has a buckle on it. Originally it had a little D-ring, <laughs> and that wasn't very effective. And that's the only, for 25 years it's been unchanged. And we make them in a lot of different sizes for a lot of different cameras. But for the most part, you can get away with one Cine Saddle. It's going to last you for the rest of your life. You're never going to have to spend any money on it at all because there's nothing it breaks. And it's a great friend. It's, uh, it's a wonderful friend. It's, it's a Cine Saddle.